There's three ways you can make something de-extinct. You can backbreed. See, if it's really recent, you can just sort of breed similar things back until you get the right genetic combination, mm. if you know what you're aiming for of the species. You can clone. That's the gold standard uh, where you effectively just take the DNA out of a cell of an animal uh, or ideally a fossil. You then pop it into a functioning egg cell that would work mm -hmm. and then you put it in a surrogate and then you bring that to term. The problem with that is DNA hates being outside of a living cell. DNA falls to pieces mm -hmm. if it's not inside a fully functioning cell that's taking care of it 24-7. You cannot clone your way into a something, even only 11,000, 12,000 years old, you can't. Mm -hmm. You can't clone that, that DNA. It's just simply too broken up. So you have to rebuild it. And then you have to find differences and edit something that exists already, which is what they've done here. It's what they did with the woolly mouse. It's what they're doing with the Tassie tiger. <laughs> this is the whole idea. They take a similar thing, which in this case was a grey wolf, mm -hmm. which has millions of years since it diverged from the dire wolf and they tried to make it more dire wolfy. 